Hello and welcome to the Good, Bad and Ugly weekly review of 15th December, the week ending 15th December and an amazing week this one. Uh, but first, a look at our uh, research desk stories. So we did all these stories on the research desk, uh, which was made available on the app and as well as on our blog and in the newsletter. So there was stories about gold, about index investing. Uh, there have been cases where index investing did not work for a long period of time. Uh, allowing strategies to pick great stocks, uh, have the markets changed in the last few decades, rent versus buy debate uh, again uh, analyzed there, uh, how Buffett has got really lucky in Paytm, uh, Chinese deflation, is that a global epidemic that is coming, Indian options uh, epidemic that is happening and a very good study on eight year gold cycles uh, for you to consider this week. Please download the Weekend Investing app if you have not done so far. It's available both on Google Play and the App Store. Nifty this week taking off. The last week was flat uh, after the uh, huge rise from 29th of November till about 7th of December. And then from 7th December till about 13th December, the markets staged a flat move rather in, in the last few days of previous week going down. And then, of course, the takeoff uh, has happened uh, in the last three sessions post Fed coming out and suggesting that there will be rate cuts, three rate cuts. Next year, market is pricing three rate cuts and uh, no further hikes are in place. So very important to note is that we've done several studies and, and discussed this uh, uh, many times in the past. Markets will not keep going up as the rates get cut. Markets likely will peak out or will go to a new high uh, by the time of the first cut. Uh, so that is where uh, one needs to be uh, looking out for uh, in terms of where the markets uh, could go. A lot of folks have this view that uh, rates keep, will keep getting cut and markets will keep rising. It won't happen forever. Uh, markets will essentially discount the rate cuts uh, much ahead. And by the time the first cut happens, it may be March, April, May, uh, markets will reach a point where it will need some uh, long consolidation post that. That is one view that is there. It is a prevalent view of those who have uh, gone through the past experiences, past performances. But of course, it is not guaranteed at all. It can continue to go through the rate cuts as well. Nifty 50, 21, 448, three weeks back, we were at 19,000. Uh, four weeks back, um, could not have imagined 21,400 to come so quickly, but that's the nature of the markets. It will always, always surprise you. Nifty next 50, highest gainer this week in the benchmarks, 2.7%. Small caps, mid caps, CNX 200, CNX 500 and Nifty all between 2.3 and 2.6%. And overall, a good week where entirely the entire market has moved up 23 to 2.7%. For the financial 24, small caps remain the leaders at 57%, mid and small cap at 51%. Nifty next 50 is very impressively at 37.5%, CNX 500 at 31%, CNX 200 at 29% and Nifty also very respectable 23.6% right there. Uh, weekend investing strategies. 5.6% on MIMT all cap. MIMT all cap has come back with a vengeance. Uh, a lot of people were doubting this strategy after it was underperforming for almost a year. And this year it has posted 62.8%. So always, always have a long term view. The strategies themselves go into cycles, which they come out of uh, from time to time. MI35, 4.2% this week, 76.7% for the financial 24. ATH2, 4.1%. Financial 24, 54%. NNF 10, 4%. Financial 55%. MI30 this week, 33.9%. Financial year, 45%. MI20 is the blockbuster strategy and we are going to have to curtail new subscriptions into this very soon uh, as we are uh, entering into a, a bubble-like uh, subscriber mania into this and we don't want too many subscribers uh, to come into this and rock the boat 
MI20 is at 3.7% this week and 92.7% for the financial 24. Amazing performance there. ATH is also coming back at 3.3% this week, 28% for the financial year. HNI Wealth Builder is at 3.1% this week, 72.1% for the financial. This is an amazing performance also. MI Evergreen, a large cap CNX 200 plus gold strategy, 2.8% this week, 45% for the financial year. MI25 at 2.6% this week, 53% for the financial year. MI India top 10, 2.6% this week, 32.8% beating Nifty comfortably. This is also coming back very sharply. You can see that Nifty is at 23.6% for financial 24 and top 10 is at 32.8%. So really, really a good outperformance after a year of underperformance there. Uh, NG5050 at 1.1% for the financial year. 2024, we are at 13.8%. Sectoral overview, IT stocks uh, remaining in the lead, 7.2% uh, for this week. PSU banks, metals, public sector enterprise stocks, real estate, all doing well between 35 to 5%. Uh, others also making some gains between 0 and 2.5%. For financial 24, real estate is now at plus 98% for the Fiscal so far, 70% for public sector enterprise stocks, 55% for public sector banks, and 47% for the auto sector. So amazing performance by these sectors in the current year. If we see the sectoral momentum uh, table here, you can see that real estate is coming back in the last couple of weeks. Uh, IT has made a huge comeback from 13th rank to 1st rank. Media is coming up. Uh, what's falling? Uh, energy is slipping, uh, public sector enterprise has slipped from where it was and you also have PSU banks slipping from 2 to 5, fifth position here. Spotlight is on Suzlon in MI35. You know Suzlon, how it has performed since 2008. We were at 400 plus rupees and came crashing down to 1.5, 2 rupees, a ferocious 99.6% fall. I mean, no investor could have hoped for any recovery of, of any kind after this. But uh, the tables have turned since 2020 from 1.5 rupees. It has gained to nearly 38 rupees now. Uh, we, MI35 had entered once the bottom was uh, stabilized and the market starts to break out here. Uh, we entered at 14.7 rupees and uh, we are currently holding it at 39 rupees. So splendid uh, 2x on MI35 as well. This is a under, uh, I would say, uh, poorly discovered strategy. It's really a good performer, but a lot of folks have not discovered it yet. Uh, it's primarily into uh, the small cap 250 constituents. 202 is the index for MI35 since launch, and it has doubled since launch in uh, July 2021 uh, versus 153.9 on the benchmark. Uh, you can see the metrics here. FY24 is at 77% versus the mid, mid and small cap at 57%. Absolute returns is at 102% versus the mid and small cap at 54%. And CAGR is at 34% versus 20% so far. Momentum type is rotational. Uh, number of stocks is 35. It, it rebalances weekly. does not mean that 35 stocks change weekly. It means that maybe uh, 35 stocks are reviewed every week. And if there is any change, uh, that is uh, passed on to the subscriber. Recommended capital is 5 lakhs to 30 lakhs and outlook should be 4 to 5 years. This is all I have for the GBU this week. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.